And I'm going to show you how to silence the forever annoying air pumps that we get. Ones like this typically, this is a Tetra Tech, and you, you will get bits of this pump rattling against the side of the wall, or the cable will rattle against some piece of furniture, and god damn it, these things are so annoying. Right, so this, this little trick I'm going to show you works for all little pumps like this. Uh, this is one from my daughter's goldfish tub upstairs. It sits in the cupboard, we put it in there to try and silence it a little bit and it's like rattle like this constantly inside and we can hear it and it's so annoying. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, silence these little pumps for good. And I don't mean cut the cable. <laughs> um, this is something I learned a long long time ago when I lived in Scotland. I used to have loads and loads of tanks in my room when I was a kid. More than this by the way. So. Um, I have a lot of experience with aquariums, and uh, let's get right into it, I think. Boop, boop. What you're going to need is some, uh, some duct tape, you're going to need a pair of scissors, you're going to need your pump, obviously, and you're going to need a jar or a vessel that is, uh, where the, the lid is wider than the pump itself. Okay, so let me just hold this up for you so you can see. And we want the pump to go into the jar like this, you see? What I'm going to do now though is I'm going to strap it to my chest just so it's easier for me to use both hands. One moment! Okay, so now I'm hands free. Let's get right into this. You have your jar, you have your pump. What you want to do right is you put your jar, your jar into your pump. <laughs> Did I just see that? You want to put your jar, your pump into your jar. We're going to take some duct tape and we're going to cover about a quarter of this area here with the duct tape, duct tape of life. Ugh. You know, I've always called it duct tape and it turns out it's actually called duct tape. It's actually duct, duct tape. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our tape across a quarter of the jar like this, make sure it's nice and stuck down and give it a cut. Right? And then the next part, what we're going to do is we're going to lift, we're going to turn your little pump so it's facing this way. I'll lift it up just so you can see. And the aim of this is to get the pump off the base of the jar so it's suspended like this. Okay, so it's not rattling against nothing. I get this cable out of the way. Right, so we're then going to need another piece of tape. And if you do this correctly, guys, you'll get a Blue Peter Budge. American viewers will be like, what is a Blue Peter Budge, man? Oh, did I just do that? A bit of a waste of some tape there. God damn it, this stuff is so sticky. So sticky. But it's, um, this tape is much, much better than other tapes I've used to do the same thing. It seems to hold together much more easily than other stuff, right? So this is what you're looking for here, and then we're going to put another piece of tape across the top. It shouldn't be too hard to do, seeing as you're strapped to my chest. Alright, that is so sticky. Right, so you want the pump to be suspended off the bottom and not touching the glass. Alright, so we're going to put that like this. Come on, lift up. You can see that? And then we're going to bend the cable over so it goes over the first piece. So it goes over the first piece of duct tape and this is what's going to hold your pump in place and suspend it. I didn't say suspenders, I said suspend it. Right, so make sure that's grabbed your tape nice and easy. You can see it wobbling around in there, the wee bit of wiggle. Just make sure it's not touching the sides. Look inside, make sure none of the feet, etc., are touching the sides. And then you can put more tape on. I think this works, guys, because it traps, it actually traps the sound or the air. It has basically like a dampening effect with the air inside so it doesn't sound so loud. 
and this 100% works. I have tried this with other tapes and it doesn't seem to have the same effect as duct tape does, so it's something to do with duct tape. Maybe a few more bits. And it's okay if there's tiny ear gaps, right, because you want this for your wee pump so it can get some air to breathe. You don't want to kill it, make it overheat, etc. Alright, so that's almost good I think. What I'm going to do is I'm going to strengthen it just a little bit and I'm going to put a piece of duct tape across the other way, the opposite direction. Like so. And maybe one final piece here. Now I know for sure that there's no way for me to really show you this working, but I'll plug it in so you can hear if it makes any noise at all. And you could probably, just to give it a little bit more extra security, put more duct tape around the lid here. I don't think I need to do that. Duct tape is pretty pretty good sealer. So there you have it. This is how you silence an air pump. You see it inside here, it's wobbling, wiggle wiggle. It's not touching anything. What's also important here guys is that you don't pull your air tube through too far because you can kink it on the bottom here. Right, so we're just going to go over here, just plug it in. And hopefully first time it won't make any, little, any kind of noise. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And that is actually on. I don't know if you guys can hear that. You can just hear the air probably in it there, but it's much, much, much quieter than it was before. And that is it plugged in. If I turn it to one of the sides, it might, can you hear it now? So that is how you silence a little air pump. If you have one of these in your bedroom or living room, you will find this particularly useful. Okay? So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed today's video please leave me a like and please subscribe if you want to see more content like this, okay? Thanks for watching! Happy shrimp keeping!